In 2021, experts predicted China wouldn't catch up to Western robotics for decades. They were wrong. In just three years, China has filed more robotics patents than the rest of the world combined. 190,000 patents that are reshaping the future of automation. But here's what's really shocking. Their robots aren't just catching up, they're breaking world records. China just hit a milestone that stunned the robotics world. China has officially surpassed the U.S. and every other country out there, taking the top ranking spot of robot density and now leading in industrial robotics. This is the walking, talking, physical, humanoid robot market. Now, I am primarily in the software side of the AI space. I'm in the LMs. I'm in all the tools that create AI clones, natural language that mimics a human, the complete automation of marketing, internal operations, and even sales through sophisticated bots and integrations. So that's the world I live in. But I believe that much like Will Smith's iRobot movie, the robots themselves will add the missing piece we need to achieve a AGI, which is a walking, talking form of robotic functionality that understands the real world around us and can translate that back into artificial intelligence as a whole. I think a lot like what was portrayed in Will Smith's iRobot movie, once we have these robots deployed at mass scale and walking and interacting among us, they will have that real world context that AI so misses the mark on today where you just can tell the machine doesn't understand the real world as we do because we see it through a living lens. That is the piece I believe robotics will add to AI completing that journey taking us to AGI and beyond that ASI. It is absolutely crazy to see how China is leading the space I do think that said, a company called Figure out of California run by a founder named Brett Adcock is also set to lead the space with large scale deployments of their Figure 2 humanoid robot hitting car manufacturing facilities in early 2025. You add to that Elon Musk bumping up production development of the Tesla bot called Optimus. Elon Musk plans to have the Tesla bot in every single facility building the Tesla products and vehicles. And it's his goal to have these Tesla bots in high production in 2026. So yeah, we've got some big players right here in the US. We are currently leading the AI space when it comes to LLMs and the models we're developing, but there is some astounding innovation coming out of China. Their massive investments in industrial robotics are putting them way ahead of the curve. And in this video, I'm going to break down what the investment is, how they are holding fifth place right now in robots installed per 10,000 employees. Ahead of them is Korea, Singapore, Japan, and Germany. All in all, Asia's average Robot density has grown by a whopping 18%. That's a compound annual growth rate since 2016. You compare that to Europe, for example, which is at an 8% instead of the 18% Asia has in the compound annual growth rate since that same year. America, by the way, is also at 8%. In 2021, lots of experts predicted that China wouldn't catch up to Western robotics for decades. I mean, with Elon Musk building Tesla, with figure building this beautiful walking, talking, functioning humanoid, and even Boston Dynamics based here in the US, it appeared to be a safe bet. But China has taken the lead. In just three years, China has filed more robotics patents than the rest of the world combined. What? We're talking 190,000 patents that are reshaping the future of automation. They've done a mass deployment of robots in their workforce, officially surpassing 470 robots per 10,000 workers. Of course, we see South Korea in the lead. They've replaced an entire 10% of their workforce with robots. And that was correlated directly to the president of that country saying, hey, we have a really low birth rate. We don't have enough people for the jobs we have, which is a real problem, not just in South Korea. But in China, 470 robots per 10,000 workers is actually triple 
the global average. This year, Chinese companies unveiled robots that are breaking world records. One of them, Tiangong, is the world's first fully electric running humanoid, and it completed a half marathon. Star Run has set the world's speed record for a robot at 8 miles per hour, and K2 by Kepler, also based in China, can lift 33 pounds with a single hand. Now, that's not to say some really innovative things are coming out of other countries. The Q-Bot from Toyota, for example, set another world record with the farthest basketball shot ever done by a robot. I'm talking an 80-foot shot that was from a Toyota robot. We're looking at the mass deployment, yes, from China and also from many other countries of robots that can navigate complex environment, understand human emotions with NLP, LLMs operating the software in the brains of these robots, you can talk to them much like a human and they're going to understand you. These robots also learn from experience. So while the We Robot launch that Elon Musk did in 2024 in California had humans in VR suits controlling the robots, that was a form of training the robots to do that next autonomously on their own. China is looking at 2025 for rolling out mass production of humanoid robots. Think iRobot coming true. With Chinese robots being 75% cheaper than the alternative, it's impossible to ignore what they're doing. So this shift isn't just about manufacturing alone. It's about the future of work. We're looking at a fundamental transformation of how businesses operate. One of the things I do every day at First Movers, my team and I help business owners pinpoint how to essentially establish their First Movers advantage now before the robots come and take all the jobs before AGI is here. If you can build end-to-end streamlined automated solutions for your customer service, your sales department, the marketing you do, the operations inside your business, you become ahead of the curve. And pretty soon when we have third, fourth, fifth generation of all these models and working humanoids, I predict that we will have humanoids ready to enter every single house, cook, clean for you, function as a housekeeper sometime in 2025. Then you add that robotic slayer and you have the automation of everything. So my question to the business owners, the marketing directors we help on a daily basis at First Movers is, how much do you want to automate right now? The possibilities are nearly infinite. What used to take a full Hollywood production team, paid actors and actresses, traveling to a set, you can do that in minutes with tools like OpenAI Sora or Google's Vio, Runway and Clean, and it looks pretty dang good. So that alone gives you an incredible marketing advantage over your competitors who aren't thinking of running a fully AI-driven piece of creative yet. As crazy as it sounds, we're still pretty early in this game. But what's going to happen in 2025 is going to be a lot of adaption. And when we walk into business and we see a clone of the account manager, the CEO, and that's the form of customer service we interact with, or we call and we get an AI voice clone, if that service is better, faster, cheaper for the business owner to run, and actually safer because there are parameters built in, you have absolutely no Spitting in your food from an upset restaurant worker? Well, the paradigm of work itself changes into an even more enjoyable experience for that consumer. Here's the crazy part. When you look at the stats in the Chinese robotics, in the American companies like Figure, in the Tesla bot, the advances in the short periods of time these advancements are made are absolutely insane. Figure 2's Robot launching in Q1 2025, for example, has triple the computing power of all of its predecessors, powered, of course, by NVIDIA's innovative next-gen GPU-based modules. Every iteration brings us a faster, better, safer, cheaper, to quote Dave Shapiro's excellent point, and that iteration just brings us closer to a very near future of total work automation. The figure O2 robot launching next Q1 2025 
also got a 400% speed increase. We are about 50 years ahead of schedule, just between the GPT releases alone. I think your dreams are the limit as to what's possible with AI, not just in the future, but right now. There is no better time than right now to challenge every single process and every single method and every single way of thinking you've had. It's going to be the people that are willing to think differently to embrace completely new approaches that are going to be the first movers that are going to win in the age of AI. So challenge your archaic ways of thinking. Ask yourself, what does best case scenario of winning in the AI age look like for me, my business, my family, my future? And then seek to implement it. Go get a guide if you don't know how to. I think the worst response we could have to all of this is, well, I don't think my consumers will ever like AI. Well, this is just always how it's been done. So this is how we're going to do it going forward. I'm telling you right now, it's the people who are willing to buck the norm and challenge old ways of doing the thing that are really going to win. I'm talking get market share, get the majority of the revenue that will shift because of where capital and labor comes from. It's the people with the right vision, willing to apply new ways of thinking. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of China taking over the robotic space? Pretty crazy. But I feel like every day brings new winds of change. And it's fun to see who is working the hardest and doing the best work to win these battles in the race to best, safest, cheapest, fastest, latest models. As always, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that to my channel here on YouTube at Julia McCoy. I see the future. I see what's coming and I care about your welfare in it. I look forward to seeing you down the next rabbit hole.